they're raising a totem pole, their first in over a hundred years. Eli Gosnell is an hereditary chieftain of the Nishkas and their master carver. They call it God-given tree. The God-given tree. Yes, I know that was God indeed gave the tree to our people for our safety, for our healing, for our health, for our clothing. We use this wood for housing. We use this wood for, for, for making basket. We use this wood for, for making medicine. And it will save millions of our people. And that is why they call it God-given tree. They call it Lipdabmaktadlacha, god Given tree is symbolic of their long struggle. The unity pole is being moved according to ancient tradition. Eighty braves from New Ayanch and other Nishka settlements will carry this pole a quarter mile uphill to its permanent location at the school. <laughs> Nysak is 87, a chieftain and the oldest member of the Nishka tribe. He is the only man alive who knows the words of the lament that he'll sing here today. A lament that records the history of his people on this land. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Why, some gigat. Carnet, some gigatum, Kaliaxum, lissums. The honor of the final push is accorded to the chieftains of the tribe, who have led their people this far. Some gigatum, some sa, some gigatum, get sa, some gigatum, that then. Kalachman, Kalachman. It's, it's real frustrating for any group of people when you know that your culture is going out the window and never ever to come back. So it's up to us to, to struggle, to maintain that culture, and this is exactly what we aim to do, to maintain our identity, our culture, and our language. As we're concerned to this time, it's been over a hundred years now. now. I don't know whether we're going to wait another hundred years. We have to be concerned about the future welfare of our people. Now, I'm talking about people that is yet to be born. What, what is going to be left for them in the next hundred years? <laughs> <laughs> 